Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Here we are, back on our Australian map. We are up here in Mount Isa, waiting for our delivery of uh, machines to come through. Obviously he's going to come through and do his little loop-de-loop -loop through his tunnel, back out again. We've got our trucks over here waiting to go. Now I haven't linked up um, the Western Australian, Western Australian, the Perth one yet. Um, I think I might do that off camera. You guys obviously know what I was doing and why I was doing it, so I'm thinking I might do that off camera. Uh, but this episode today, I want to work with this Mount Isa, Mount Isa, Mount Isa oil refinery. So I'll wait for this guy to come in, see how much money he makes, and then we might head over and um, try and get some some crude oil into here. It takes two crude oil to produce one oil, and then we need to transfer the oil. To either make fuel or you know chemicals or whatever it may be so wait for this guy to come through so I did have six trucks on this line but I've dropped it back to just three so what does he have on board he has 48 on board so that's gonna give him oh, maybe three full loads each or close to so let him come on through drop these guys off Bam, 1.8 million. That's pretty good. So a little bit of a profit there. Um, and that's not even at full capacity, I don't think, just yet. So, all right. So we want to get crude oil into here. So now we've got one up here, Darwin Oil Well. We've also got one uh, down here, the Broom Oil Well. And we have another one over here, Exmouth Oil Well, which also um, can come down into the Perth Oil Refinery. We've also got another Madura one here. We've only got six oil wells on the map. So I'm thinking if I can run... So produce 400. If I can run these three up into Mount Isa, I can run these two uh, down into Perth. Then I should have um, a couple of other oil refineries down here, I think. Can't actually see what they are now. I thought I had them down here. We'll have a look in here. That's probably the better way to do it. Um, oh, there's only the four. Okay, there you go. So Broom and Darwin can go up into Mount Isa. Then we can have um, Exmouth and Madura going over to Perth. And then maybe Madura is going to be the only one that actually can, s can supply the Adelaide, Adelaide oil refinery. I mean, we could possibly... Um, have these two into there, these two into here, and then those two over into here, and just work it all around with ships and that sort of stuff. But I'm going to plan on um, using ships pretty much, except for here. We're going to train train it from here down into here. So let's have a look at our um, ship port first. We're going to go with the cargo harbour. We're going to go with a large... Can we go? Yeah, let's go with four terminals. Why not? Like, we want to go. We want to go big, don't we? Go big or go home. All right, I want to get it out as far as we can. All right, there we go. I'm not sure on um, how much we can really configure it. A large dock, so we can actually send it back that way or that way. Can we go? We can go sideways as well. I think I probably want a couple of extra docks in. How small is that? That's pretty small there. There we go. Put two small ones in there. We can throw like a couple of bigger ones again. Actually, we're going to need a couple of smaller ones. Ah, that should be right. And then they should line up now. Yep, there we go. I mean, I know that's a lot of money, but that's going to look like a massive... Massive terminal. Uh, miscellaneous when you have like a pedestrian entrance, which doesn't help. Uh, cargo. What's that main building? Don't really need any extra main buildings, do we? And I don't really think so. Like, there's not really much point. I mean, it's probably gonna make it look much, much bigger. That looks looks a lot better with that there. Just makes it look look really big and beefy, which is great. Um, I actually want to go with a medium country town road. 
Yep, okay, and it's got to be down here. So let's go. Let's try and go straight across this way. Uh, what's it colliding with? Okay. Let's come down a bit. We should still be able to connect from there. Right, perfect. Now let's go straight across. Yeah, that's. I think that's level. Reasonably level anyway. And this one will be able to uh, not go anywhere actually because there's water right there. But that's an easy fix if you want to actually um, potentially smooth that out a little bit. Probably need to flatten this into there anyway and then smooth that out a little bit. Just to make it look semi-normal. Alright, and then we can bring our road out. Just go as far as we can, pretty much. And put that there. There we go. Let's look at our, our train terminal. So we want to go with 320, of course. And I think... Let's just go with two for now, because we can add to it later on. Alright, let's turn around and make sure we get this lined up, you know, reasonably straight. You know, that actually looks pretty straight there. Alright, before we do that, we're going to have to work on these areas through here, just to get rid of that water. Right, so... About there will do nicely. So that's going to go over to here. It's only going to be a short train journey, but what I want to do is go with crude oil to oil. And I can go from oil out of here into Brisbane Chemical Plant. We can come back in here, grab some more oil, and take it out to Catherine Chemical Plant, and then come back into here. So it's going to be like a decent loop. We might need a fair few trains on there, but, but I think that's going to be uh, pretty good if we can do that. Now I wonder if we can, probably should go small one and just maybe put this dock in here and then throw in a road and just see if this is actually going to link with that. I mean we can do a trucking service so it's not going to matter but, uh, so it's just outside the area, which doesn't matter too much I guess. Um, it's definitely going to be those two coming into here, so... Sort of plan on making another big cargo terminal lot we had over there. So if we go... Large four... It doesn't have to be as big as the other one, like we don't have to go over the top like we did. But I will put four in here just for future, just in case. Um, just in case we need it. So throw that in there. Uh, we're going to get rid of these roads for now. Let's have a look at um, our cargo terminal. So we really only have to have to connect this to there. Like that, and then loop it back over into here. So we'll do what we normally do. Get rid of uh, the street access if I can. There we go. Uh, I want to go with cargo, just to make it look that little bit bigger. Go out and in. Right, come on with our roads. I'm going to get the curve going. Let's curve this guy around to here. That's actually not too bad. Perfect. And then we can maybe bring that one over into there just to join that back up again. Right, this one can go that way. Actually, that means they're going to cross over, doesn't it? Um, yeah, they're going to be on the right-hand side. Oh, actually, yeah, coming to the, there. It's, it's all backwards. Doesn't matter. We can work with it. Um, come back into here. Uh, we want to go... Oh, get rid of that again. Go out there and in there, yep. Right, and from here, 
back to there will work. From there back to there, that's fine. So it'll come on the right hand side in and then it'll cross over. Come back around and uh did we do a double one or a single one down there? Oh we did a double one. Ah, let, let's change that back again. That's probably why. Yeah, there we go. Uh, cargo. Uh, site access. We want to go in that way and then out that way. Let's configure that and get those back in again. Back out, back in, and then put our roads back in. Actually makes things look a lot better. Come on the right hand side, then we can come back up this way. Uh, and then we want to go back in on the right hand side. So I want to actually go oop, like this. Won't actually let me take it up any higher. Alright, let's look at flatten tool. We need it to be higher, yeah, up there, there we go. Just see how that goes, if that's going to make a difference or not. Not really, it's going to make us really low, isn't it? We can just come straight into here, like it's not that important that we do that big a, bigger run, I guess, so... Let's come into, say, there. Get rid of you, go cargo. Street access, uh, in and then out this end. And fling that around, say to there. And fling that around. So that's going to go down and this one's going to come in. So let's actually bring this one down a little further. And then we can try and swing that in, but that looks... Terrible, doesn't it? I think it does. It doesn't look very good. Oh, that's probably not too bad. With a bit of, you know, smoothing through here. Alright, perfect. So that's our first one set up. Um, okay, those guys aren't joined together. Gonna need a depot in here somewhere. Uh, we might throw it up up over here because then it's sort of you know out of the way. If we can get one in there reasonably nice, that's not gonna look too bad. All right, something like that. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna be Darwin crude oil haulage, I guess. I mean, here we go, Darwin, crude, oil, haulage. There we go, and it's going to be black, of course, because it's, you know, crude oil, it's black. Um, so that'll go, put our time back on again. I keep forgetting to turn that back on after each episode. So that's that one sorted out. Uh, other one over here is going to be interesting, because... Uh, actually, how it's not too bad as far as the hill goes, but I don't want to. I don't want to go through town. But maybe we can come out this way. They put in our dock lock out here somewhere. Definitely go with the four again because we're going to be going both ways with this one. All right, there we go. So if we look at our other one, yeah, we'll just go direct to it, same as the other one. Pretty much try and do exactly the same uh, design. Uh, length. You could probably just put the length straight in, can't we? Because it saved me having to change it later on. Uh, right there, that'll do. Not sure how long that is. I don't think that's long enough. So in and then out. Uh, let's go back to our streets. I like 
would like to be able to have um, bigger streets, but we don't really need them, I guess. I'll try and keep that level now. Alright, that's going to collide there somewhere. Ah, like that. Okay, so we want to go in on the right-hand side again. Bring that back to maybe here. Configure that. Uh, no. Yep, get rid of that. Cargo on either end. Street access in and then out. And then with our streets, we can try and curve this one around. Uh, can we go... Yeah, we'll go reasonably level, I guess. Try and have that curve back to being flat. Like that. And then we're going to join it up over here somewhere. Let's have a look at this one first. Not sure... Look, I'm not a massive fan of... how it looks. Alright, that'll do. Bring this one... over as well, and then we'll try and connect it up. Actually, it's got to go down the other end, doesn't it? would be a good idea. Well, it's own little loop. Alright, then connect those together. There we go. So that's going to be uh, the broom. Crude oil haulage, I believe. Oh, that looks terrible through there. Smooth it out a little bit. Right, so where was the last one? That's Darwin. So this is going to be from there to there. Room. Crude oil haulage. Uh, where'd that go? All the way up the top. There we go. Go black. Done. So that's going to be our first one that's going to head um, over into here, into Mount Isa. So we need to set up, we need a, um, a ship place where we can build our ships, I guess. So maybe over here, just to add to how this looks. So I don't know what that's for. I don't know if that's just something to be put in anywhere or what, but yeah. All right, I wonder if that's... Um, Too high through there. There we go. See how that works now. Collision with what? Uh, okay, let's try and flatten that out a bit more. Probably should have done it with this tool. Make it so it's square. There we go. Let's see how that goes now. Perfect. Or well, this sort of, you know, right next to it, so at least at least it looks like it's all part of the one the one big um, area. Awesome. So we need to set up a line. Uh, so from here to here. Oops. Let's hope we don't have a crash. It's not like whatever I just did. We may have a crash. Oop, no, there we go. That took forever. I don't think that was an auto save either. Can we actually put in... Um, we can't put in waypoints. I don't like the fact that... You know, they can't. I'd rather them come out and around sort of thing. 
there's really not much we can do. Um, so what's this going to be called? Broom, crude, oil, uh, shipping, I guess we'll call it. So broom, crude, oil, shipping, and of course that's going to be black. And then our next new line will be from Darwin. So when I click on that, that it sort of starts freaking out. Right, let's have a look. Let's go um, number two. It's going to be Darwin crude oil shipping. Just right there. We'll change that to black as well. So one and two. I wonder what line they're actually coming in on up here. Darwin East, you could probably go to four. Or should we go to one? One's probably better. I know it's further away, but at least it looks whoop, at least it looks more realistic. And that one looks a little bit a little bit better. We could probably put that in as number number three just to get it to go in the middle. Something different. All right, and then we can set up our um, our train service. So we want to go yeah out this way, I think. So we'll go tracks. We'll do our normal hundred kilometers an hour. And I'm usually going this way. Well, I'm going to go backwards this time. Try and keep that speed up. It's because I don't like the way that it um, the signals work. How's that going? Yeah, we need to sort of. Rather not have um, have a tunnel, but I think we're going to have to by the looks of this. Where does a tunnel come out? Just there. Right, done. And then we'll see how this is going to go. Because we have to come... Obviously... Around that a little bit. To there. Okay, so bring that back to here. Try and... Shouldn't have too much slope. What do you mean too much slope? Might have to do it the whole way then. Still telling me too much slope. Uh, where's the slope at? I don't know, that's alright there, if I press the M and N, gets that going, so you come out and into here, then I'm going to put in a loop, because we're only going to have it um, turn around for now, depending on how quickly I can get this other stuff sort of done. Alright, there we go, we don't want it to be underground if we can avoid it. Right, come back around again. Have that go into there, perfect. So that lines all that up, and then we'll come back out of here. Doing our 100 k's an hour, of course. Hopefully this all lines up really well. And back into there. Then we're going to have to do another... Another turnaround. Right, so come out of there and then come out of to here somewhere. Oh, it's funny how it does it. Uh, too much curvature. All right, maybe we should have went out a little bit further this side. Oh, there we 
we go. And then turn around. And these auto saves, they're a killer. Alright, come on, auto save. There we go. Right, around and in. Perfect. That'll do. So now we want to go from here to here. And uh, we need to put in some signals for that to work properly. So let's go signals one way, yes. That way, and then this way. That way, and that way. It makes it a lot easier to put the signals into. I'm doing it this way. Right, so that'll come out and it'll go that way. Which I think that one might be too close. There we go. If we look at that line again. Yep, there we go. So we're going to call this um, Mount Isa Crude Oil. We should just call the oil, I guess. Let's go Crude Oil. Great. For now, because we're going to have to obviously change it once we extend it. This is pretty much all we're going to do for now. So, I guess we want to go and get, um, let's go with one ship, I guess, large cargo. 130, it does 26 kilometers an hour. That one does 30 kilometers. Definitely rather go with the Vandals. Uh, let's go two of those for now. They can all go to the black. This one can go to that one. And you can go to the Darwin one. We might only need one on this Darwin line. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's pause this so we can throw in um, some trucks. Crude oil, there we go. Let's go four, black, uh, where are we? So I click off that, only the ones that we can see, there we go. And where's our other one up here? We haven't got a depot in here yet. Might as well throw another one in. I'm not too worried about having too many um, of these depots, but I think I want to try and um, just have the one train depot service the whole the whole map, which may not be possible, but then again it may be possible. I don't know. Like black, and you want to go with that one. Alright, let's get them started again. Then we need to look at our train, uh, which is where down here. So we really need to come back into this station. Um, and have a look. Tracks. Actually, which way? Can't remember which way they're going. Or do I have to click on them individually? No. Let's just look at the line. There we go. So they're going to come in this way. Right, so in on the left, so he's going to come out, out this way, okay, so we need to go from this one, like into there, like that, and then this one needs to come out, go to there. Look at our lines, yeah, that'll come out of there, and then this way, that'll come in there, into there. Alright, perfect. So that's going to be our line, our Mount Isa crude oil freight. So we need to get him set up now, uh, which means we're also going to have to uh, set in like a, another junction over here. So let's, let's pause it. Um, Go back with our normal 100. So, yeah, this bottom one goes forward. So, if we go 
from there, like around into here somewhere. And then can we get that one into there as well? Right, so that way. Uh, one way signal, we're going that way, and then this one is coming back the other way. Alright, there we go. Now let's have a look at our, our depot. I want to put like a massive depot, I was thinking in Alice Springs somewhere, but it's not flat, maybe over here that services the whole map, but yeah, I don't know, we're going to have to wait and see sort of how it goes, I guess. Um, so this guy's not going very far. Might just go with a mogul for now. Cargo. Um, and these guys. Don't know how many to go with really. Maybe 108 would be okay. Right, we'll set that on to the Newman, no, Mount Isa Crude Oil Freight. There we go. Right, grab this, we'll go like that. And then when our train comes out, we can rename it to number one. So he'll head up that way and hopefully everything will start um, start flowing um, yep they're on their way yep so they're starting to get oil into here so you're on your way you're empty definitely have to put some more trucks on where's this other one over here over here let's um pin both of these we'll go broom Oil well, let's go transfer. And over here. Put it up there somewhere. Darwin. Go oil well. Transfer. There we go. So that's already got heaps sitting on there waiting to go. So grab oh, grab that truck. Uh, we're going to grab another four under there, straight away. Because we've got, yeah, 24 waiting already. This one doesn't seem to be building as quick. There's four on that line. Uh, let's go just with another two for now. They'll start doing the loop the loop and they'll get there pretty good, hopefully. Um, yeah, I want to keep both of those up and just see how they go. So now we, we need to go um, get the oil, so that oil and this oil, into Perth, uh, which is here. So we could probably actually um, link this up pretty easily if we're close enough the only issue is going to be is the road like it's because we're so far down uh, no that should be all right just thinking how close we're to the edge of the map all right now we need to somehow try and link these roads Try and go up. Where can it go to? Say there. Right, that doesn't actually pick up that. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Just because it's um such such a high up spot. We're going to have to do a trucking 
area down here too, which I was hoping we didn't have to. Uh, all right, I want to go down. Uh, all right, let's flatten this out a little bit. Okay, is that as that might be as flat as we can go. Let's get rid of that. I think that might be it, actually. Alright, we might have to look and see where we can go. Just in there, we'll see how this goes. Uh, cargo. I'll put a double cargo at the other end just to make sure we're getting enough in there that way and then out that way. I don't know how this is going to look. Like, I want things to look reasonably nice, but potential that this isn't going to look any good, but then again, it, it may look perfectly fine. We need to get this to come around that way, I think. We could probably turn the station around the other way. Maybe the better thing to do. Oh, that just gets rid of a lot of our cash, but if we turn that around the other way, that'll definitely be better for us, I think. Nothing waiting, I know, but let me configure it. There we go. So, a couple more on this side. I go in and out. Our street. We can curve that down into here. Ah, then this one we want to... Maybe we should use a flatten tool, I think. give us a little bit more room to work and then try and get that to look like it's normal and hasn't been made by me which may be the hard thing to do like that yeah that'll do that looks that doesn't look too bad now let's try and uh, spend a bit more money why not you know we're just throwing money away these days around through here and let's level all this out through there I don't know if I can actually use um, or not there in here we have um, assets and I always forget where they are oh here they are so we can put in like a retaining wall thing here but I don't know it says it wants to connect with a track but obviously we don't have a track so if we go like 40 wide, and we can just throw that in there. Like right at the bottom here. Like that. Uh, upper terrain. Where's that? That's there, isn't it? Yeah. Though it does ruin the bottom terrain if I do that. And the upper terrain. So let's just... Um, Throw that into there and let's try and line these guys up so they actually look like it's meant to be there. And we can throw another one in along here as well. Uh, what there? Doesn't look too bad. Right, so this one need to go manage vehicles. There's still plenty in there. Let's go with another four of you. See how that goes. Um, all right, so that's going to come up to here. So you're going to go around on the right hand side, the right hand side. So we could probably throw uh, that in through here somewhere. 
And then it can do a nice little loop. Oh, I'm hoping, anyway. Alright, maybe get rid of that one. That one, and go and throw that one there. Let me go look at our streets in. Let's upgrade that to dirt. Well, I don't know if it's an upgrade or a downgrade, but anyway. Right, that's alright. And that goes on the right hand side, and this one comes out. We've got to get it back over to here. Which gives me a nice curve. It'll be fine. Like that, so it's going to be a little bit of a hill, but so I want to keep an eye on um, that hill there. I don't want it to be too hilly. I think. Uh, let's go with a bit of um, smoothing through there. Again, as always. A bit more down through there. There we go, perfect. So, uh, that'll join this one and there. And then we need to join. There's a broom in there. I think that's what we're going to do, won't we? Because there's two to there, and then there'll be two to here. Then this one and that one will be to the other one. So it's just this one down here we need to join. So we shouldn't have to truck these. Uh, by the look of this, I'm hoping. Um, let's throw in our dock first. It could nearly connect already, but let's give it a bit of extra room. Um, all right, come in here. Beautiful, it already connects, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Um, let's just throw in like a little loop just to make it look like it's meant to be there. Um, I think we we're going to train it, weren't we, originally? That's why we've got this big station there, but that's fine. So that can go... Is that a... That's not a passenger one, is it? Uh... Damn you. Why would you give me a passenger one? Why wouldn't I notice it? There we go. Alright, did I do a passenger one there too, down this end? Yep, of course I did. Oh. Let's just throw more money away, shall we? Alright, there we go, perfect. So, where's our... Okay, our truck depot's over there. Um, let's manage line. Oop, not that. Oop, not that either. Wanted to do that and go manage vehicles. Another four on there. And put another four on this one as well. We'll get rid of those now and we can come back and keep an eye on those, but it's 84 sitting there already. And oh, where's our ship? He's on his way down, I think. Yep, so it's going to take him quite a while. So other guys already loaded up with some. There's already a lot more there, so we're going to need a heap of ships on these lines, but uh, they're going to work. Right, let's go new line from there to here. Right, it's going to take a while what works out what we've actually just done. I don't know why it's doing this, that's really weird. Never had that drama before. Um, 
Is this going to be called the Broom? No, this should be called the Perth. Or Broom to Perth Crude Oil Shipping. That's probably what it should be called. Alright, and come back in over here. So we need to do a line from there. So it's Karatha to Perth. Must be these cargo or just the ship lines. I don't know, but it takes a while to get it to work. Karatha to Perth crude oil shipping. Right, so that can go black. Then we need to set up a line that goes from here to here and back. Yep, so that's Perth. What the hell did I spell then? Perth crude oil uh, transfer haulage, I guess. Um, yeah, black. Right, so that's those two. What's this guy? The cruise ship. So we need the broom to Perth, then the Karatha to Perth. I don't know if I should send them out of here, but might as well. Um, two of you will go black. So broom to Perth, done. Then I'm going to buy another two again straight away. Oop. They're black, and they're going to go Karatha to Perth. So these lines here, they should probably should be called something else. Um, Darwin, it's Darwin to Mount Isa, isn't it? Yeah, so Darwin, Mount, well, uh, Mount Isa, crude oil shipping. We need, obviously, a, another ship on there. Right, so buy another one of you. Black. Darwin to Mount Isa, yep, off you go. And then the one over here... Uh, manage line to so broom to Mount oops, Mount Isa. We're going to need what do we got in there? 126. That's really not that much. He's going to take all of that, but we'll get one more ship on that line too, I think. Uh, black broom to Mount Isa. There we go. So this one here. That should start um, producing by itself eventually. We just need to. Oh, there's so much stuff on the map, it lags quite a bit. Uh, buy vehicles, flatbed. I'm going to go with um, just six, maybe. And that's going to be Perth crude oil transfer haulage. Right, if we click on that and go manage line. So Perth Central should put that as to load full and make it so it's only crude oil and it unloads everything and it's unlimited wait time. So what are we going to call this? Perth Cargo Port and change that as well. Oop, not that. Perth Cargo transfer. Uh, I'll call this Perth crude oil. That'll do. Right, so those guys will head to there in the trucks, which means these should start yet yeah, producing. There we go. Okay, did we send? I think we sent a couple, didn't we? Broom to Perth, Karatha to Perth, Karatha to Perth, yep. They're going like literally everywhere. Actually, you made a sale, didn't you? Oh, oh maybe you didn't. I hope this is our first one coming in to make a sale. 
these things are pretty cool looking. Uh, let's copy that. Number one. It's coming on into our massive port here. We do a lot of design work in here and just add a lot of stuff, and make it look really cool, I guess. I wonder where our train is, that's the other thing we've got to look at. A train won't make money, so this is going to probably cost us a lot of money, these lines to start with. We have a look. Um, yeah, like our train. That's a machinery one. Um, it should make money soon. So that one's going to lose, that one's going to lose, these are going to lose. But eventually they'll be right. So 622,000. And then that'll eventually get on our train, which is right here. Perfect timing again. So he'll load up and then he'll head off, which is really, really good. So what we should do here is manage line. Mount Isa North. Wait till full. Um, anything, I guess. And we'll go unlimited. So we should change the name of these stations to Mount Isa Cargo Port. Cargo. Let's go transfer. Perfect. So all these other guys are going to head off. They're going to take a while to get to where they need to go. Uh, actually, if we go this way and look at just our ships. Um, Melbourne, Darwin to Mount Isa, 135. Broome to Perth. We need another two on there at least. Same as Broome to Mount Isa. We need another two on there just to get these up above 100. The Carrather to Perth isn't too bad, but these are the two. Yeah, manage vehicles. We'll go double that. And grab this one. Manage vehicles. Double that. Alright, and with those lines, I guess. Um, so Darwin East. We want to go full load crude oil and they can wait not unlimited I guess wait 10 minutes if they need to so Darwin East we'll change the name of this one as well Darwin cargo port right Darwin we've got 257 waiting in there Station is overloaded. It shouldn't be overloaded. Because it's only on the one line, which makes it... Yeah. These guys all full? They're not quite all full at the moment. Alright. Grab. I'll get rid of four of these guys. Because he's getting three. He's only getting a couple. He's only getting a couple. Right, and that, Darwin and Mount Isa, so they're producing 400. We just don't have enough room there, and I don't think putting another dock anywhere is really not going to, really going to help us. Alright, let's come down to, where's the other one? Down here. Broom. Uh, let's go. Cargo. Oop. Cargo port. This one's going to come in and... Load on up. Right, we'll go number one. So I'm hoping um, that'll work really well. Let's go get rid of those. Have you even arrived yet? I don't think so. Taking his sweet time. There we go, load up with 130. And off you go. 
Now, how is this guy doing? Yeah, still plenty in there, and they're not over. Oh. Probably not doing too bad. We'll probably need a couple more on this line, I guess. Grab another three. Oop. Auto saves. So will that give us... Yep, 13. I didn't want to click it again and it was 16. So he's on his way. So they're building up as well. Uh, this guy down here is, doesn't need to transfer anything. These guys are just going to sit here and wait, pretty much. To take stuff into there. And then we can actually have the oil come back down. Uh, where does the oil need to go? Up into here. Yeah, so we probably don't want to do that. Um, which w I will say, we need to... Look at this and go manage line. At this end, we'll go load nothing. Just unloading everything up there. We don't want to bring anything back down. Because that needs to be transferred uh, up into the oil refinery. Alright, so that's um, not too bad. I think we'll, um, we'll have to leave it here, obviously. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, a lot of ships on their way. Check on these guys again. So they should be... Okay, I'm still... Maybe... One more on here and another one on each of these ones. Maybe. We'll see how we go. But look at our um, cruise lines. You know, they're making a decent amount of money. It's really, really good. I've done some more design work over here as well. Nothing major, just adding to, you know, the sidings and stuff. So I added, like, a massive siding up here with a train, like, it's ready to come out. Um, an extra train in here. Uh, this train here with, like, bits of extra tracks so we can make new tracks. And this train here with some older... older uh, carriages and that sort of stuff. So just to, just to add to it a little bit, I guess. These guys all full. Some are, some aren't. But, I mean, they're still making money, so... How much do we have in here? 337. Where's our nearest train? Here, yeah, there we go. I don't know if we need a third one. Probably really do. Um, right, copy you. Click on this guy. Go paste, number three. Probably do need a third one on there. We need to look at um, getting this food out as well. So one coffee bean makes two food. So we need to start getting the food out of here as well. That's going to be another another good thing we can do for there for next episode. But um, anyway, I'll go over everything. I'll pause the date here. I'll go over everything and have a look around and see what else I can improve off camera. And um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do next episode, but we're going to have to link up... Um, this cargo port, well, the Majura oil well over into Port Lincoln, um, and also this one over into Port Lincoln as well, which means I'm going to have to put another ship terminal down in it, like another um, shipping depot somewhere. Can't have everything coming out from over, over here or up there or whatever, so... Anyway, guys, um, we'll end it here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you think of this series so far. If you want to see it continue. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.